I want Sandy to come and stand with me, and I want every pastor. I want Brother Dave and his wife. I want other pastors and their wives that are in this audience to stand. And those of you that are pastors and associate pastors and ministers, I want you to be a part of this. And we're going to take authority over every one of these things that are coming into your home to destroy you and to divide you and to devour you. We are the people of the kingdom. Say it out loud. We are the people of the kingdom. We have dominion. We have glory. We have authority. We have a kingdom. We have power. God, I speak now on behalf of the ministers of America for their beautiful team of husband and wife. And I bind every spirit of the devil that would come against these marriages, against these teams, against this unity, against this high calling. Mm. Mm. All right, Lord, the, the Lord's shown me in some of these marriages a competitive spirit between husband and wife. I break that competitive spirit. And I command you to submit to the authority that God has given to your command companion. You know the authority and the call that God has given your companion, and I command you now in the name of Jesus, submit! And come under the subjection so that unity can be in that marriage and the ministry can go forth. And if you will come in this kind of unity and humility, God will exalt you and He will use you. <laughs> I release the power and the anointing of God now. I release the power and the anointing of God right now. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now we're the people of the kingdom. And I want everybody here to obey what God is telling me to do. We're going to release the peace of God in every area of life that we have involvement in. We have the right to bring peace and blessing. Hallelujah. Just sing this little chorus verse. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father of many boys and girls and many people standing here that do not know for sure that their sins are forgiven. I want those of you that are not sure that your sins are forgiven to move up to the front so that those that need, or those of you make a little path for any of you that do not know for sure that your sins are forgiven and those of you out in the audience, if you're not sure that your sins are forgiven, come on down and make your way through this crowd and come and stand right here. All the boys and girls, teenagers, parents, if you're not sure that your sins are forgiven, I want you to make your way right up here to the front. Some of you out there, this is your time to get saved. This is your time to know Jesus as your Savior. You've said, Jerry, I'd sure like to be a part of something that was real. I'm sick and tired of playing games. I'm sick and tired of being mixed up and confused. I've been looking for something that's real. Well, this is real. This is the kingdom of God. This is the reality that cannot be defeated and cannot be destroyed. If you're not sure you're saved, you call the number on the screen. Those of you in here in this audience, if you're not sure you're saved, come and join me right here. Come on. Come on, move right up to the front. Don't stand back there, but come right up here to the front. If you're not sure that you're saved, if you want to know that you're a Christian, if you want to know that your sins are forgiven, come on, young men, that's it. God bless these young men. Come on, parents, many others that are not sure they're saved, you come and stand up here. Jesus is calling you right now. 
And those of you that are watching at home, if you do not have the assurance that your sins are forgiven, if you're not, if you're not sure, if there's the slightest doubt, you call the number there on the screen because there are people that will pray with you. And it's just like you were here in this great revival. God will meet you there in your home. I'm going to pray for you in just a minute. I'm going to minister to you. But first, I want to minister to these people that are right here in this auditorium. You're coming to make sure that your sins are forgiven. You're coming to know. I'm waiting. There's others. There are others in this room. There are others in this room that are not sure that they're saved. There are others that God is speaking to. You come down here. You're not positive. You need to know that your sins are forgiven. You get up and walk down that aisle. It'll be the best walk you ever made. It'll be the best walk you ever made. Come on. I'm waiting for one more. God is speaking. God is calling you. He's calling, oh sinner, come home. There are others that want to be down here, but you're just waiting. Oh, some of you wonderful prayer warriors, here's some fine young men. I want you to come and stand with them so that they have somebody to pray with them. There are others. Okay, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for those of you at home. We're going to believe God for these miracles. Move in real close right here. Kind of move over this way. Just move. All you behind them, just move up here and build a wall. Come on, build it in close. Come on, move in close. We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God for this miracle. Right now, we're going to pray with you. We're going to pray with you. Paul, come and agree with me in this prayer. When we pray, the miracle is going to happen. When we pray, the salvation is going to take place. Pray with us there in your room, right where you're watching right now. Pray it right out loud. After I pray for you, then you pray. Dear God, I pray that every sin will be forgiven. I pray that every bondage will be broken. I pray that the powers of the devil will be taken off that the doubts and the fears will go and that they will have the peace of God and the authority to live this life in freedom in Jesus name now pray this prayer aloud with me and everyone pray it out loud dear God I know that Jesus Christ can free me from my sins I confess my sins now come into my heart Lord Jesus and forgive me now I receive this forgiveness in Jesus name amen now pray with these real good right here everybody around them just pray with them until the victory comes in their heart and those of you at home you call that number on the screen and let somebody pray with you for the miracle of God to take place in your life God bless you Paul Praise God. thank you Jerry did you get a hold of this word that was given to us tonight Thank you, Jerry. That was one of the greatest messages I've ever heard preached in my whole life. And I know many of you are the fruit of that, and at home as well. Oh, what a wonderful two nights we've had in Canton, Ohio. It's been glorious. God bless you. Thank you for welcoming us so and making us feel so at home. We love you with all our hearts. To those of you that are receiving Christ, promise me you'll do one more thing. You'll call Channel 17 okay and you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus to one of our prayer partners and we'll send you a Bible how many need a Bible if you'll just write or call and ask for it we'll send it to you with love will you do one more thing those of you that have just received Jesus tonight do what the Word of God says to do turn around now and just look at your family out there your brothers and sisters in the Lord and I want you to turn around and look at them now come on turn around right now just look at them, and I want you to say one little sentence I'm saved Say it right out loud. I'm saved. Let me hear you say it. I'm saved. Well, let's welcome them into the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God. Those of you at home, dial the number on your screen. A prayer partner is there to talk with you, love you, and pray with you in Jesus' name. Oh, Trip family, there's just time for one more great song of victory, and I love this one. The church that cannot be defeated. We've been cast down, but not forsaken. Been persecuted, but we cannot be destroyed. We are one in the Holy Spirit. We're confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we're the church that can't be defeated. Church that can't be defeated. And we'll 
Everything 